Hello, and welcome back to Real Mist again. I decided to do more of this this weekend, even though I already did some of it. I figured, since we just have Rhyme left, I think it's it's a good idea to just kind of try and get through this, and then, I mean, I have no idea how much is actually here in Rhyme, if it is just we read that one book, and then we're done, and there weren't any puzzles, if it's 10, 20 minutes, or if there's actually going to be a decent chunk and it's like an hour plus. No clue. We'll have to see. But I figured I wanted to do that and then like be ready to get into Riven next time. But if this is extremely short, then maybe we'll just jump into Riven right away today. Otherwise, we'll do Blasphemous after this. So I also figured I would load to before we went into Rhyme just to like have everything in this section. So let's just start Rhyme all over again. And then, I mean, we just did, like, one tiny thing. And we didn't even explore everything out here. I kind of know... Yeah, they're, they're certainly going for the horror vibe. I'm kind of now tempted, just for the sake of it, to try out uh, the classic mist. And we'll do, like... Well, we'll, we'll try this. Just... To see how this works in Rhyme, since this is like not the same, the original screens, now this will be real Mist exclusive perspectives that you're supposed to have. That could be kind of interesting. I think I probably want to make this much faster though. So if we max it out, is it instant or how does that work? That is barely faster at all. Okay, I definitely think maxing it out is the way to go. But yeah, now we can, like, look over here. We didn't do that last time. And then I can still hold down the button and... Is that not, like, people screaming? Is that some weird, like, mechanical sound or lightning sound or electricity sound or something? Huh. But yeah, I can still hold it down and look around if we want to. Maybe it's the glaciers? Captive elephants? <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, where all the mammoths went to live. Oh. Is that supposed to do that? That's some spooky stuff. This didn't do this last time, did it? And what's this? No idea. And I mean, I guess we already know. We can just turn this on for the heating. Huh. You would blame the wind, but there's clearly no wind. I mean, it, yeah, I guess it's weird. You can hear the wind, but from the snow, it looks like there wouldn't be any wind. Maybe there's a draft coming from in here or something, so it's actually going out. Yeah, I don't remember it, remember it doing that last time. Man, what are these sounds? And that's just to get back. And yeah, now everything is ice. We push the magic button to start the heating. Little more. Little more. I'm pretty sure this will open. There we go. Yep. Just had to wait all the way. And then we still have the flashlight if I want it. Yeah, this is actually kind of cool. The uh, classic mist movement system. Okay, that's very blinding. One second, I'm just... my tea has finished steeping. Just listen to the elephants, meanwhile. So last time we just went in here and got a book. I guess I'll do that again and we'll just read. 
before we mess with anything out there. So here we are. And there's nothing else to do? Alright. Before spending any more time with my experiments, I've decided that I must finish construction. I have brought both Sears and Echinar this time. The shaft is almost finished, as is the observation post. Both boys prefer it inside where it's warm, protected from the cold. Akinar sits in the observation post for hours, and Sirius is consumed with the crystals and the glimpses of ages that we're able to see. Neither of them shows any real desire to leave. I cannot remember the last time my son spent so much time with me in an age. After much more experimenting with the shapes of the crystals, we were able to get a nearly perfect view of an age inside of the book. Sirius wanted to link immediately not understanding the link was only visual. Without the ink, the crystals do not bind onto a particular age. Because of this, the crystals have an interesting side effect. It is possible to change the crystals to watch the age change, while in reality we are seeing a vast number of distinct, though similar, ages, displaying the current age de defined by the crystals, it appears as though we are changing the original age. Next are the lights. My son's, so this is more like a multiverse kind of thing, again, like, I guess the uh, age word isn't actually, doesn't actually mean times in that sense, just different worlds, different dimensions and stuff like that, and, and we're getting to, like, there's infinite possibilities in every possible world and stuff like that, I guess. Uh, next are the lights. My sons seem much more interested in the lights of the night sky right now. Their only interest in the crystals seems to be whether or not we can view Channelwood or Stoneship. Two ages I have not seen in a long while. It is possible. Is that like a, a wink? Just like people haven't seen those in a in a while because it was a long time since the, the original game. It is possible to view the ages, although the time it would take to find the correct combination would be prohibitive. I do not consider my task with the crystals complete but I would rather keep Sirius and Akinar excited and here. So we will move on to the lights. I think it is better to keep Riven from them. There we go. And so it is just as well that we move on to something else. I will view that place later. So will I. The lights are curious. Although I originally thought the effect to be an organic one, I now believe it to be electromagnetic in origin. I think the effect could be triggered somehow. It's something that we'll have to try. And if Sirs and Akinar have their way, it will be soon. I have never seen either of them so interested in my experiments, and I do not want to dampen their enthusiasm. It seems they have forgotten about the crystals now. I'm just gonna check. Not too much more. I'm not sure either of my sons was expecting the amount of work it would take. It has turned out to be a challenging... A challenge, working above the cold waters, where the wind cuts through clothing and skin like a sharp knife. Still, even amidst the dark cold, they are driven to complete the task. Uh, complete the task, period. It is a side of them I have not seen before. Another hard day, but we have erected the first of three towers. I am too tired to write tonight. It has been a week. The second and third towers are up. We only need to connect the power. I am exhausted, as are Sears and Akinar. However, they have no intention of quitting. And that drives me. The towers are finished as is the power to each of them. Power will be conducted directly through the sal sa saline sea, uh, alleviating the need for stringing wires and enabling us to... That doesn't sound good. Enabling us to locate the towers a, a comfortable distance away. Most of the remaining work can be accomplished inside, for which I am grateful. I am tired of the cold. I look forward to the warm beaches of Mist Island. Perhaps we all deserve a break. We only- there aren't really any beaches on Mist Island, are there? I mean, I guess very, very small ones. We, uh, uh... We only spent a day with Catherine before returning. We were here only a minute before we again began to experiment with the towers and the electromagnetic discharges. We were able to create an arc for the first time between two towers. Is, re is that what we're hearing, maybe? Its reflection in the cold waters was magnificent. We are close now. Tomorrow, after adjusting the voltage, we will know just how close. Not sure exactly what the towers are about, like what they're trying to do here. The beauty is awe-inspiring. At our command, multicolored waves of light dance across the dark sky. Brilliant flashes of white lightning. 
that make the display even more amazing precede them. The boys are convinced they will be able to bring their mother here, and though she use usually refuses to use the books, I am becoming convinced that she will come, or at least I hope. We'll start asking about where on Mist Island the toilets are. <laughs> yeah, we can't add too much logic into this. And he was like, starting to draw and then was like, ah, that's bad, I'll draw it here. I don't know. As for me, I must return to Mist or some other warm place. There is more to be accomplished here, but I long for the sun and I will spend some time under its glow before returning. Catherine had, had to come after I told her of my intentions to use the crystals to view Riven. She is not consumed with the setup of the geodes and the crystals and encourage, encourages me daily as I try to uncover... Wait. Yeah, she is not consumed. Okay. As I try to uncover the combinations that will allow me to view a view of that age. Sirs and Akinar did not come this time. I must return to Everdunes. I believe that a few of the crystals I left in Everdunes may help me here. Catherine has returned home for now, but she will meet me on Mist Island in three days. I think I will be ready by then. There we go. Everything is very quiet. There's like no sound effects except the elephants in the distance. And we can just swing around again. And I can't go up higher. Can I go down further from here? Might be a couple pauses here and there. Just having a sip of tea. Now we have some music. I can't look around here. I wonder if I can if I do the uh, the other game mode. Hold on, one second. Once again, I forgot to like shove my speakers out of the way, so uh, my uh, mouse cord keeps like. Wait, what? My mouse cord keeps uh, hitting them. Oh, so this is like an area where you can't. Use free look? I'm just gonna check this out. If we leave here... Now I can. But then here it goes to... No, it's it's still normal free look. Oh, well, that's weird. That it couldn't switch in this one? Hmm. Okay, we can choose the color. Oh, Aurora Master. Well, so there's one of the achievements and we can choose which color we want the Aurora to be. Red. Is that just for fun, I guess? Too bad you can't like change it while it's going. That would have been fun. I mean, classic green, I guess. I guess it's usually more like turquoise or teal. Yeah, like somewhere here. That's pretty classic. You think the whole age is probably just for fun? Yeah. That would make sense. Black Aurora. It's not visible. I guess that makes sense. Well, at this rate, if this is all it is, then uh, yeah, maybe we, we have to jump into Riven. Pink. That doesn't look very pink. Right. Yeah, so, wait, is there even, like, anything left to do now? Hold on. What's the final achievement? It was something else regarding or relating to Rhyme, I think. Crystallizer. Yeah, we haven't seen any crystals, have we?
There weren't any crystals up here. I think. Don't see any crystals. Hmm. Oh! What? Wait, how- how did I get here? Can you not go back to the surface anymore? I guess you can't. Huh. Oh, it's because I turned ah, I turned it around and then set it sent it down. So we can't turn it around when it's at the bottom, but we can at the top. I didn't even realize I did that. Yeah, I see. I just wanted to check quick. Is this like, I'm just gonna say the shape of the island, but no, I guess that's just a, a geode. Oh, god damn it. One second. Oh boy, I really forget that way too much, muting my phone. This time it was like 17 minutes in, I get a notification to use the dashboard. Usually it's like after two or three minutes. I just wanted to look out here at the towers again. But I guess there's not really much. Alright. Let's go in and turn the elevator. Now the door isn't doing that thing. I wonder if that was a bug. I guess, for fun, let's switch back to Classic Mist. I did notice this as well in Riven when I was testing it out, that like, now I feel like this is too fast, but the actual move speed was okay. It could have been faster, actually. And in Riven, it's kind of the same thing. We'll get to that, I suppose, when we start that game. Like, I'm not sure whether I want to have, like, instant transitions or slow transitions or, or what. Oh! We can take a bit of a nap. And here's probably the crystallizer thing. Okay, this is actually slightly annoying me. I want to like be able to move around and look around. Crystallizer? No? It is... real. The work of your hands, the touch of my dreams. I've... left my dream for you. I'm only... No idea. Yowd. I'm only yours? What does that even mean? I'm only yours. Red, green, blue, yellow, purple. Hate cursive, man. I see. So this is yellow, so we need to, like, pair the, the shape with it. It's gonna be hard. Unfortunately, Atrus has the best ha handwriting in the franchise. It's all downhill from here. Oh, no. Yeah, Atrus's handwriting was very good and very easy to read. So it's this one for yellow. Wait, they're all yellow? 
Um, how do I change the color of them? Maybe I don't even care about the the colors and just do it in this order. I don't know. Is it that? I don't think it's that. It's kind of hard to tell. Wait, and the second one was the one it is now. Third one has like three peaks. Oh man, these are very similar. I don't know which one it would be. This is definitely the, the first one. This one. I feel like this is wrong. And then that and the one with like two very tiny peaks. Like this one probably. No? Yeah, what do I do about the color? Oh, you can sit down as well? How do I do that? There we go. I can't, like, rotate anything. Wait, what? How do I do that? I click and drag? That's extremely unintuitive. Wait. wait. Oh, you click and hold. Yeah, that, that is strange. So it was like, uh, red. I don't remember. This was like yellow and purple. Red, green, blue. Yellow, purple. Yeah, that's a bit weird. Is that not it? It's the clock tower gears puzzle all over again. I guess so, but I mean... In that one I felt like it was pretty intuitive that you could like hold down the, the lever in order to like keep it going. Since you were like clicking and dragging the lever and then when you let go the lever went back up again. So I felt like that made more sense. So I'm probably, like, wrong on some of these. This triple or this one, maybe. This one might be wrong. Wait, and this doesn't change. Okay, this this might have been the color. So it, it's probably the right one. Yeah, okay. Crystallizer. And this is Riven, is it? That might be Riven. And I think that's it. I guess that's it for this entire thing, is it? Because, yeah, I mean, we're 100% complete now. 100%. And I mean, it's it's classic missed fashion to just be like, I guess I'm done. It doesn't say at the end, you beat the game. It's just like, you have nothing left to see, so I guess quit the game now. Yeah. All right. Well. Uh, I, I guess we'll jump into Riven. I wasn't planning on jumping in right away, but 
sure. It's doing this thing again. Where I can't, like, save. Why is it doing this? There we go. Oh, because I was, like, right-clicking or something? Like, I was in this view? Then you can't? No, you can. I don't know. There's something weird with that. But yeah, so that's it for Real Mist Masterpiece Edition. I really like Rhyme. I mean, it was very short. It would have been nice if it was a bit more fleshed out with, like, actual puzzles. I mean, I guess I had one puzzle, and the elevator classifies as a puzzle, I suppose. But it would have been nice to have a little more, but I suppose it was more of an extra thing, little teaser, little fun thing. And, yeah, I mean, my assessment of Real Mist hasn't changed. I do think it's... It's cool, but I think Masterpiece Edition definitely seems like a step down from Real Mist, the original, because it didn't really add much in terms of graphical fidelity and just screwed up the performance royally. And everything for me looks a little like flat and empty and small, but I did really like uh, Stone Ship Age. I think Stone Ship Age worked the best in 3D and Rhyme as well, but I mean, obviously Rhyme was like made to be in 3D. But yeah, good little 3D thing. It was fun to check out. I guess we'll uh, jump into Riven. So, just a second. <laughs> 